There is a pinch runner out at second base for Lynchburg. Not sure who exactly that is to start the 10th. Game tied at two. Madej, the batter, not showing bunt. He looks at a strike as Menendez dropped one on the outside edge. It's somebody with a single-digit number out there at second. It might be one of the other catchers, perhaps Donovan, but trying to see exactly who that is. Pickoff move to second and diving back in. It is Joe Donovan. The catcher who was injured the other day. And so they will put him in in the catcher spot. He'll likely stay there for the bottom of the inning. That's the advantage of running a catcher there. You don't have to waste a player. 0-1 to Madej. Popped up foul back behind home plate and the count 0-2. Well, the River Dogs went to extras in the series finale in Columbia on Sunday. They scored on a sack fly by Sasaki and then Got a huge assist when the pinch runner at second in the bottom of the 10th was picked off. 0-2 to Madej. Big first out there as he struck him out looking, dropping a changeup over the inner half. Menendez has won away. That runner still at second for Cesar Idrogo, who is one for three with a double. The set at the belt, Menendez drops down Submarine and pours in a strike to Idrogo, 0-1. A right-hander continues to throw in the pen for the Hillcats. I don't think Petway will be back out for the bottom of the 10th. The 0-1. Slider down and in, laid off by Drogo. I don't know, Meza was waving his hands behind the plate. I think he was asking for timeout, never got it, and Drogo was even a little bit thrown off. He gestured toward the catcher. After that pitch, ball got away from the Lynchburg pen, and so we'll have a bit of a delay here before the 1-1 pitch to Drogo. Top of the order in Valdez on deck. And as the road team in extras with that runner being put initially at second base, you need to get at least one. That's always the feeling. Otherwise, the home team bunts the winning run to third and then needs a fly ball to win it. 1-1 one, one pitch. Swing and a miss. Fastball at 92 from Menendez. He doesn't throw that all that often, but he snuck one past the left-handed hitting Idrogo here. Tied at two, one out in the 10th. Runner at second, the one two from Menendez. Swing and a miss, strike three. Change up on the outer half. Andy Drogo goes down swinging. Antonio Menendez has five strikeouts now in an inning and two thirds, but one more big out to get. Jordis Valdez will be the batter. He is one for four with an infield hit. Left handed batter. First pitch, and he looks at a pitch just down off the outside corner for ball one. In the bottom of the 10th, the River Dogs will have Christian Johnson at second. Elite speed there for the top of the order. You'd love those odds in a tie game. 1-0 to Valdez off the inside edge, ball two. If Lynchburg scores nothing here or even one run, I think you might start that inning with Sasaki trying to put a bunt down and see what happens with his speed. 2-0 pitch. Right there for a strike. Valdez content to leave the bat on his shoulder. He was taking all the way. Donovan, the pitch runner at second. He is not moved as Madej and Drogo have struck out. Still a hitter's count for Valdez. Here's the 2-1. Ground ball foul, first base side. He hooked it wide of the coach's box. And it's two and two. By the way, Omir Santos, the manager, is back for Lynchburg today, but it's still the bench coach, Daniel Robertson, coaching third. He had been the acting manager for the first two games. Pitch clock at five. Menendez wants a new set of signs, and time was called by the hitter, Valdez, which was 
interesting because had he not called time, it may have been a pitch clock violation. Instead, the 2-2. Backdoor slider just off the plate. Couldn't quite get it to break back all the way, and now it's full. Go ahead, run it second for the Hillcats. Menendez trying to work out of this extra inning situation without any damage again. Payoff pitch on the way. Struck him out looking with a slider on the outside edge. Antonio Menendez strikes out three in a row with the go-ahead run at second base. Lynchburg leaves that runner at second. And we head to the bottom of the 10th with the Riverdogs trying to walk off the Hillcats on a Friday night at the Joe. I'm an airman.